Hey, what is up, dear friends? Welcome back to my channel. I'm very excited for this week's reading vlog. I've been waiting like all year and all since last year to start um, the wintry, cozy, magical, snowy reading vlogs. They are my favorite. I am very passionate about snow. I love snow um, and snowy books I love and are even dearer in my heart than spooky books, which is crazy um, and which is also why I'm so excited to be working with an app again that I used in my last reading challenge or just book organization um, reading themed either in like the spooky season and now this time we're doing the winter season, which I'm so excited about and that app is of course literal who are also sponsoring today's video. So thank you so gosh darn much. I'm going to be using their app all this week to organize all of my winter tree magical reading but something i did want to mention that they're doing which is very very cool if you want to give them a follow on instagram because they're going to be posting about a giveaway that they're doing over on their instagram feed and their instagram story because they are doing a 25 days of giveaway they are literally going to literally <laughs> going to be selecting a winner every single day from december 1st to december 25th each day the person who wins will win a 20 dollars gift card to either a locally owned bookstore of their choosing or an online independent bookstore of their choosing which is so cool and really nice so the entry requirements for the giveaway vary but if you want to go check them out on instagram they will post everything about that there and they're using the hashtag literals 25 days of giveaways so yes i'm really excited for this vlog um we've already had so much snow much snow yeah that's how excited i am but i decided to do my nails i decided to try like making this one a little bit of like a snowflake and then the rest like blue and I really like them. So I'm very excited to take you throughout the week. I already have a couple snowy books and Christmassy books on the go. And I'm excited to just build this TBR because I have been stockpiling all of my cozy books. And I even made a whole bookshelf full of winter stuff, which I think I've already mentioned in several videos. But welcome to this vlog. I'm so happy you're here and let's get into it. Yes, okay, it's snowing. We're going out there because, oh my gosh. Like, look at that. You can't even see. It's beautiful. All right, so welcome to Friday. I don't have class today. Um, and I'm so happy about that because look, I did not bring gloves, so my hands are getting a little um, frosty, but cannot wait to get in from this, curl up with my book and some mocha. It's just so beautiful, so beautiful. All right, hello. It is a little bit later. I have been really not that productive since my walk in the snow. It's just been kind of one of those days where I'm like, what do I do? I'm just like walking around my apartment being like, I have stuff to do, but what should I really do? So I ended up um, just putting on some makeup because I'm thinking of filming a video and I kind of wanted, you can't really, oh, my eyes like, my eyes been twitching. 
Yeah, you can see that. Oh my god. My eyes been twitching all day. <laughs> it's so annoying. Like, it's like this when I do not get a good sleep. I did end up editing a little bit of a video and cleaning a little bit of the apartment but last night i was actually so productive because i spent literally like a good three hours deep cleaning um both my bathroom the kitchen i must have done like four loads of laundry including like all the towels kitchen random kitchen stuff and mats as well anything else that could be cleaned and go in the um washing machine just because um, I felt like I hadn't done that in a while and it was just it just felt really good to do that like after my test was done and I didn't have any big responsibilities on me but I actually do need to check what my test on Monday is for because I haven't actually even looked at the format or anything yet and today's only Friday so I do have some time so that's fine but now I'm just like humming and hawing being like do I want to film this video? Do I not want to film this video? It's my December TBR and like I think I know what it is so I'll probably just end up filming it because yeah but i do want to do a lot of reading tonight and i probably am going to finish editing this video i also really want to read more of for the wolf by hannah witten because this is the other book i'm currently in the middle of i am 58 pages through i am loving this so much i think this is finally a little red riding hood retelling that i'm gonna love like it's just so good it's adult dark fantasy and we're following red it's a pretty i want to say not like complicated fantasy world but there's a lot going on so it's set in this world she's in one of the kingdoms that borders on the wilder wood which is a forest that is said to be quite dark um, and harmful and it's also where it said that the gods from the world and the, or the kings um, that everyone used to worship the five kings they were taken into the woods and essentially like killed or kept kept calf kept captive by the wolf who lives in the wilder wood and so in the hopes of bringing back these five kings every time a second daughter is born to the royal family of this kingdom i think it's called validen the second daughter is always sacrificed to the forest and the first daughter is always like trained to become um the heir to the throne kind of thing so red or radaris is the second daughter and so she is sacrificed to the woods and she just made it into the wilder woods but she finds out that the wolf is actually a man he's not a wolf at all and there's actually other secrets about the wolf that she's just learned which i'm not going to say but there's so much writing about nature um, and moss. There's so much moss in this book and it's just really, really good so far. Like I'm loving the evil, spooky, really dark vibes. Like the trees literally want to drink your blood in this book and it's fantastic. So I would highly recommend. Um, I hope it keeps going the way that it is because it's so good so far. I cannot wait to learn more um and just like get into the world and see what's happening in the wilderwood because red also has a shard of magic in her from when um she was younger and she went into the woods with her sister when she wasn't supposed to and like she got cut and the woods essentially drank her blood and so um it inserted like a shard of power into her and now she can um kind of work or she like has this semi-destructive plant magic so that's interesting but anyway loving that i also went out today where did i go i stopped at the post office and then i went to the drugstore to pick up a few things because i ran out of my face wash i'm so sad i was using the green tea um face wash from wish trend which i loved i used up the whole bottle but um it's a south korean company so they didn't they don't have it here so i just decided to pick up for right now the CeraVe face lotion nope foaming facial cleanser um because i've heard so many people talk about this and i'm really hoping it is good so I just got this one. This is the normal to oily skin one. So we're going to try it out, see what happens. And then they also had a whole bunch of Christmas candles or winter candles. And so I did pick one up because like the designs on them were just beautiful. This guy has a pullover on it with like the Northern Lights. They also had like one with foxes and reindeer and they were just so cute. But I got the pullover one and this is snow and ice. It smells really good. It also has like a hint of cinnamon hearts, I want to say. So yeah, that is the weird little drugstore haul. Um, but it is now eight o'clock. So I think what I'm going to do is put my pajama pants on. I want to play a little, I want to play a little bit of some video games tonight that I've been really enjoying. 
um but then i need to go to bed early tonight although i'll probably read some of this in bed too because i have a very early dentist appointment tomorrow and i don't want to go i hate going to i don't hate going to the dentist i would just rather not go um but i have to go to the dentist and then i have some errands from this morning or tomorrow morning all right so i am in bed now and i'm gonna spend a little bit of time reading for the wolf i got up to page 106 and one thing I'm really liking is the plot. I think the plot is so cool with the forest um, being alive, the forest being a character, and we have the wolf who is actually just this guy named Eamon, and essentially like he's, is revealed that he's actually trying to protect um, or like to keep out the monsters that come through the forest because essentially like um, the lore, like way back when, none of this is really spoiler at all um but there were a whole bunch of like monsters and shadow monsters running around um the kingdoms and terrorizing people and eventually they all got locked away into the wilder wood um in a section of the wilder wood called the shadowlands <laughs> very original so the forest essentially like keeps these monsters inside um but they are trying to get out and essentially the wolf's blood is one of the things that can stop the spread of the shadows and um just you know keep things under control and like i don't really know like we don't really know yet how red ties into that because of course she has a sliver of power herself from the forest but we just met a few more people in the woods one negative thing i will say about this is that the writing is quite repetitive um in the descriptions concerning like okay the word moss has been mentioned about 56 times like just i know there's not really a lot of synonyms for moss it's just like an action scene will happen where like a tree will come out and attack red or someone and the same kind of description will be used multiple times in different sentences and like this one mini action scene that makes it drag on for this interminable amount of time and i'm just like this could have been over I don't need to read three sentences about what Moss is doing um, unless they're beautifully worded sentences and unfortunately a lot of the time they aren't. Um, it just feels like sometimes the author doesn't have like a very clear sense of what should actually be happening in these scenes with her writing. That's just like the vibe it, it gives off kind of because they're just kind of repeated thrice for no reason. I'm just gonna read a little bit more and relax, put on some winter ambiance and have a really good night. It's snowing very softly, so yeah. First of all, I want to say thank you so, <laughs> so goddamn much because I woke up to 2,000, 2,000, <laughs> 200,000, what, um, subscribers this morning, 200,000 of you guys. Um, I, I don't like the word subscriber. I just want to call you 200,000 friends. That is literally insanity. I don't know why I went British, just because it's so insane. But thank you so much. Um, I just can't believe it. I felt like I just, like, I don't know where 100,000 more of you came from. I can't even wrap my mind around it, really. Like, it doesn't feel feels super weird but i just want to say hi if you're watching this thank you so much if you recently found this channel hi welcome to this place i hope you are liking your stay here um please tell me where you came from tell me how you're feeling tell me how you're doing tell me a little bit about yourself if you've been here for how long has this channel been up i think like two years actually i don't know i'm gonna have to check on that but if you've been here for a while and you never introduced yourself i would love to say hi to you um and hi if you're watching this and don't want to introduce yourself that's also totally cool but i just wanted to say thank you and it just yeah it just came at a really good time i've been having a really rough couple of weeks my anxiety has just been so high it's just so frustrating each and every time um and i've just been in a lot of pain for a lot of different reasons and it's just been a little bit of a nightmare recently which is really strange because i was doing so well and i was thinking like oh my gosh remember like i was remembering when i used to go through really bad periods um usually like really short bursts of like in intense anxiety and i was like hey i haven't haven't done that for a while and then like the next week it, it was just it went all downhill i had i had a very was it yesterday no I think the day before I just got smacked in the face with like the biggest panic attack I've had in a while um and that was really exhausting I I'm I'm like I'm grateful because it's been a while since I've had one but it was just really bad and I kind of just 
did not deal with it very well. I'm just so thankful for my roommates and to be able to live with someone who is so kind. We're best friends and I can just like have someone like have a really good support like right here. I think I'm coming out of the rough period right now, but um, I just keep getting hit with like either really bad headaches, really bad cramps. Um, I've been having a lot of just random pains in my body. Like for the past two weeks, it's been more like more days where I've just been in pain than not which is frustrating, especially when I just, I just want to get stuff done. I want to live my life. I want to, you know, be able to go and write a test and not be um, feeling like I'm not performing my best because of my body, because it's not working the way it's supposed to for some, not, not, not working the way it's supposed to, but just, you know, being a body and going through pain. And I have to I have to respect that, but it's not something I love. However, it does make me really, really grateful for moments when I'm not in pain, like right now. <laughs> almost right now, almost right now. Um, it's just, it, every single time it feels like coming out of a cave, like coming out of a shell um, and falling back in love with the world and like getting to tackle things. Um, it's like a really good feeling, but is it worth it? I'm not sure. So it's just been a rough, it's just, yeah. It's just been a few weeks and I just wanted to do a little mental health update because I think a lot of it is, I'm not blaming school, I'm not blaming academia because it's not academia's fault. Um, it's my fault for not looking after myself and I've always been someone who has put um, school, whether that's literally even elementary school, which was stupid, why did I try that hard? Or university first before like what I need, um, before recognizing my own needs, um, whether that's just like continuing to push myself to do more research, to work harder, to just like spend the time putting my energy towards academia when in reality I need to take breaks, I need to take care of myself, I need to take care of my surroundings and stuff like that. And so that's been rough and I, ooh, <gasps> my pizza, <laughs> the moment of joy, um, but yeah. That's definitely something I've struggled with a lot and I know I always get a lot of comments um, of people struggling with that too and a lot of requests for, um, what do you call it, like time management, how I manage my time and stuff and in reality a lot of the time, I wouldn't really call it time management, right, like I would just call it not, not managing myself in favor of managing um, whether that's YouTube or school, mostly just school honestly, um, but yeah. There's an unnecessary amount of pressure there. And for what? At the end of the day, it's just a grade. I know I'm gonna pass no matter what. I don't really think I would never be in danger of failing. At the end of the day, it's just a grade and my grades have been very, very good. So I'm just not sure why I continue to do this to myself. Um, but I've been getting better at it recently, I have. And making uni content and just like talking openly about these issues, um, especially ones that have been so ingrained both in myself and probably ingrained within me from, you know, being brought up in school <laughs> for so long. Um, but yeah, yes. So I am just really motivated though to just get back with my reading. I'm gonna be on Christmas break soon, winter break, like I said, and I'm so excited to read all of the wintery books and just to like feel better, take a long break from school, which is gonna do wonders for my mental health. I know it. Um, because it definitely does always plummet when I go back to school. That is something I don't enjoy, even though I love university. It makes me quite happy, but um, in a different sense, it also takes away a lot of the things that um, are in place to keep my mental health healthy. So yeah, anyway, this has been a little ramble. I hope you're doing well. Um, if there's anything you wanna share, anything you'd like to see, anything you wanna talk about, feel free to pop it down below, but I'm gonna go put this pizza in the oven. I'm excited, let's go. Oh, look at this one! Okay, oh, he's really dead. He oh, okay. Dead. Oh, this one's so cute! <laughs> <laughs> Where? Right. It's a very rustic experience. I have 
lost my family. Guys. <laughs> It is snowing so much. It is so beautiful. We just ordered in and I think our delivery driver is gonna take a very long time to get here. And I've already had like one of these, so mistakes were made, but wow, I can't even see. Like it's just a whiteout. coffee is good today all right so we have embarked on our winter reading journey challenge adventure um and i am so happy i have a lot of updates with this book because this is the first one i'm going to be reading um in this vlog i think i've already said that i've already updated you guys but now i'm exactly 300 pages through um and i have a lot of thoughts so have i already explained what this is about kind of <laughs> If it sounded like it was confusing while I was explaining it, it's because it kind of is. And there's still some things that I'm just a little bit foggy on. I like the complicated world building, but I'm really unsure whether it needs to be this complicated because um, it is a fantasy book that centers a lot around the past and the characters' ancestors and like what came before them. It's kind of doing that circular, um, mythological, repetitive time scale thing where actions just keep being repeated that freaked me out but it was just my charger <laughs> didn't know what that was um looked like a snake so red and neve are sisters neve is the firstborn and red is the secondborn so 300 pages in what i will say red has obviously gone to the woods we've already talked about this but it has been so repetitive i think this book could have done with a lot of extra editing um a lot of editing because the scenes are just very repetitive um 
I think I already told you that Red as well had that shard of magic in her from when she and Neve tried to destroy the Wilderwood so that Red wouldn't have to go there um, and be sacrificed to the wolf. But most of the book so far, most of Red and the wolf's relationship and where they are um, because the synopsis does reveal that the wolf is a man and the man is just this dude named Eamon. It's just been them really doing the same things like trying to save the trees because a lot of the trees um, are trying to alert the wolf so that the wolf can heal the trees so that the trees don't let out the Shadowlands um, and release the five kings that are trapped in like the Shadowlands where the demons and monsters are but also where these kings are. So so much of it has been that. There's a lot of like terminology, a lot of different things concerning these trees but I was already telling you guys how the writing was feeling quite repetitive but now the plot itself is feeling quite repetitive. However, we have learned a few new things and I'm actually really enjoying it's kind of a relief when the perspective switches back to neve who's still in validin like the kingdom um because i'm sometimes i'm honestly feeling like i'm enjoying her perspective more most of this book is definitely set from red's perspective but yeah i just think this book could have done with a lot of editing love the premise i love the idea um i just don't think the execution is super strong i'm not sure if this is her debut novel it might be so I'm excited to see where it goes. I've already seen the cover for the second book. I don't think it's out. I don't know when it comes out. And then one of the last things I wanted to kind of say is that there is a romance in here. It falls under one of the tropes. I'm not going to say which trope, but it is between Red and the Wolf, obviously. But I just don't feel like the chemistry there. To me, it's just not super existent. I'm just like, okay, you guys like each other. Um, I just don't think the relationship is written very well. And I'm just, I wish I was into it, but I'm just not into it. I don't really care that much. I feel like, like I don't really care. I much prefer Neve and like her perspective and what's going on um, in her world and in her relationships actually, which is interesting because I wasn't expecting that. I usually love, love, love the Little Red Riding Hood um, aspects. And I keep saying that, but it's not really Little Red Riding Hood at all. It's just she has a red cloak and there's this dude who's called the wolf so yeah um i just wish the world building was a bit stronger concerning the ideas because i think they're really cool ideas i love that idea that fantasy does with like the returning cycles and like you have to break the cycle of what you know came before you that's my update on that i am 300 pages through i'd love to finish this soon i think i have like 130 pages left or something but um i really don't know where it's going because not that much has actually happened that is the first one I want to cross off for this challenge and then we will start something else but I did actually I did start something else actually that I'm reading alongside this so I will let you know um what that is too today the plan is that I am very busy because tomorrow is the Dickens versus Tolstoy live show for Resurrection by Tolstoy and I need to get my notes in order there's some research I want to do on Resurrection um and there's just some other things that I want to get done but I really do need to get my notes out and prepare for the debate so that is what I'm gonna do right now I think I'm gonna take my coffee and then move to the couch with my laptop and write a bunch I think I just finished my notes for resurrection and that feels really good because I had so much to just get out. I ended up actually reading a couple of critical essays on it um, just so I could get a little bit more background and something I did not know was that um, Tolstoy himself was in like quite a similar position to Nekhludov because Nekhludov in this book seduces a young woman and then basically ruins her life but Tolstoy did the exact same thing when he was younger and a lot of this book is him like I think regretting that clearly he said he regretted it but um he told his biographer that he seduced like the chambermaid of one of his family's houses or something and then she was dismissed and she died i was like wow i did not know that tolstoy big yikes um but anyway i got a lot of my thoughts out which is so great because like i just I knew I was angry at this book, but I didn't realize how angry um, and just how like strongly I felt towards it, especially the ending. So like I went through 
and kind of annotated it and then put out my thoughts um just typed them up so i'm really excited for tomorrow's debate um yeah so that feels good to have my notes done and now oh Yes, the other thing I started was A Christmas Carol by Dickens um, because this is our book for December for the Dickens vs. Toll story and I'm loving it. It's so nice to get out of Resurrection and get into A Christmas Carol. I'm only 10 pages through but this is a reread for me and I am loving it. I'm annotating it this time as well and it's just been so good. Like the lines in here are just so pleasantly beautiful. The way that Scrooge is described, he carried his own low temperature always about with him. He iced his office in the dog days and didn't thaw it one degree at Christmas. No wind that blew was bitterer than he. No falling snow was more intent upon its purpose. No pelting rain less open to entreaty. Foul weather didn't know where to have him. I just love like the snowy atmosphere and like the whole thing with fog as well in this one. Um, candles were flaring in the windows of the neighboring offices like ruddy smears upon the palpable brown air. The fog came pouring in at every chink and keyhole and was so dense without that although the court was of the narrowest, the houses opposite were mere phantoms. The ancient tower of a church whose gruff old bell was always peeping slyly down at Scrooge out of a gothic window in the wall became invisible and struck the hours and quarters in the clouds with tremulous vibrations afterwards as if its teeth were chattering in its frozen head up there. The brightness of the shops where holly sprigs and berries crackled in the lamp heat of the windows made pale faces ruddy as they passed. It's just so good. I'm loving it so much. So I'm going to read a little bit more of this today. I've been trying to just read it really, really slowly so that I can just like uh, be with it as long as possible because I'm really, really loving it. This is my first time physically reading it. Last year, I listened to the audiobook, which I also recommend. But um, yeah, so that is the other book that I'm currently physically reading. I got a package, uh, it's like 9 p.m. now, but I've been listening a lot to Dune, which I'm not gonna talk about in this vlog because it's gonna be in a different um, reading vlog, actually. I'm doing a whole one about Dune and then the movie too, which I'm really excited about. I haven't started the movie, but um, I've also been really inspired literally just yesterday and today to get back into playing music because it's been a really long time and I don't know why, like winter and Christmas time always inspires me to like crack out the flute um, so you saw me playing flute, which was probably very rusty because that's the first time I picked it up in months. I haven't, I haven't, no, I've not opened my flute case since moving to this apartment, but that was really fun. Um, yeah, like there's this piece from Ratatouille I want to learn and it was just really nice playing a lot of the Studio Ghibli, um, pieces that I've grown to love so much. Um, and I don't know if you can see, you probably can't do a finger comparison but this hand I still can't feel my fingers my fingers are numb because I played guitar last night for like hours um and mostly because my mother Taylor Swift um just has been inspiring me to sing a lot and also to try and play guitar and sing which is something I've never done but it's really hard I did take guitar class in high school but it wasn't it was just classical guitar so it was no no chords or anything really like that um, which I love classical guitar, it's great, but like learning how to strum and like do the chords is not something I've ever done before, so I've just been doing that myself, but man, I don't think I should have gone for as long as I did because it's still numb and very puffy and painful. Um, and I was so sad I couldn't play today because like it just hurt so bad that I couldn't do it, so I'm just waiting for those calluses to reform and then we'll be fine, but the whole main topic of this thing was that I got a package. This is from my Amazon wish list, and this is from one of you guys. Thank you so much. I actually started reading it already because I got too excited. This is from Morgan. Thank you so much. It says, Dear Emma, I just discovered your channel, and it is a treasure. I want to read this book so bad, so I gifted it to you. That's so nice. Thank you for being such a light in the world full of kindness and coziness. Love from Pinellas. 
France. Thank you so much because it is a diary of blood. Oh my gosh, I've been seeing so many people read this recently and I just, I just, I wanted to read it. It's a reimagining of Dracula's Brides and like, it's so pretty. It's so, 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 so pretty. It smells so good. And like I said, I literally just started reading it already. I'm 10 pages through because I don't know if I'm really going to pick this up, but like I couldn't put it down once I just like picked it up. I was like, oh my gosh, I need to keep reading like the writing in this. That was the main thing I've been hearing was that the writing was just so so good um and it is it has been oh my gosh so in this we follow one of dracula's brides whose name is constanta and um that's pretty much all i know it's just that she is right now getting turned into a vampire by dracula but i really 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 want to read this and it's not that long so i might just do it I might just pick it up anyway i will render you as you really were neither cast in pristine stained glass or unholy fire i will make you into nothing more than a man tender and brutal in equal measure and perhaps in doing so i will justify myself to you to my own haunted conscience this is my last love letter to you though some would call it a confession i suppose both are a sort of gentle violence putting down in ink which scorches the air when spoken aloud I don't know, For the Wolf is kind of like going like this, you know? Um, but I've heard nothing but good things about this. So anyway, I'm really excited about that. I wanna thank you so much. Thank you so much for sending this to me. I'm so happy to have this in my hands. Like it's been a while since I've been like this excited for a new book. So thank you so much. Um, and then I do have some other stuff I need to be doing, but tomorrow is the debate. So I wanna make sure I get a good night's sleep. Although in honesty, I have not been sleeping very well recently because I have been adoring like staying up very very late and waking up very very late I don't really know why that's been a thing but that's been the situation so I, I do imagine tonight is going to continue into like a very late night vlog of some sort so we shall see but I'm gonna finish editing up this video I think and then I really want to play guitar like it's killing me does anyone have tips can I like make this go by faster can i like scrape off my i was just like learning all too well obsessively and like playing it over and over again last night sounded like complete poop but that's okay um but my fingers have yet to come back from the grave and i even had to sacrifice my nails are way too long realistically but i did have to sacrifice like half of my beautiful winter gel nails for it so that was a bit tragic but anyway i've been having fun with that so I don't think I should play the flute right now though because I have a feeling I'm gonna get yelled at. So this is turning very rambly. Let us edit this video. Okay, so I read a bunch of this actually. I have around 60 pages of this left. Um, uh, I kind of guessed some of the things that was gonna happen. So that was like a little bit disappointing, but um, I'm just like excited to see where it goes. I think there's just like the world building isn't 100% um intact or like believable to me because it just seems very like murky and stuff like everything that has to do with the forest and the trees and the rules is just a little bit too abstract for me um and i have to keep like kind of reminding myself what things are and why things are happening um but yeah i'm very tired now i'm very very tired it is almost 11 o'clock actually um I've been sitting here listening to Dune, trying to decide if I want to have a cup of tea or not, or like a matcha, but it's literally almost 11. kind of wanted to finish this tonight. I don't know if that's going to happen, but I might just crawl into bed or try reading a little bit more. Um, we'll see. This is okay, but like it's definitely gone way downhill in enjoyment level for me because of when I started it, I was so in love with this, so enamored but it's just really gone downhill, unfortunately. It's not like, I'm not hating it. It's just not a book that's like wowing me or is gonna be a new favorite. Um, so yeah, but anyway, I am going to listen a little bit more to Dune or I might, actually, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I might just go to bed. <laughs> um, we'll see what happens. I haven't really decided yet. Good morning guys, I am very sleepy, but I decided I wanted to read a little bit of this in the morning, which is cool because I've mostly been reading this at night, but I'm actually almost done. I don't know if I'm going to finish today, I'm on page 381 and I have a lot more thoughts about it, but I could potentially finish it today because 
Um, it's actually much less than that since there's a huge excerpt from the second book at the back. So we will see, but I'm gonna sit down, read some of this, finish my coffee and see how far I get. Stop it. I just sat down to film and it started like, it's bl like snow blowing everywhere. So pretty. This is amazing. I love this. Such a good time to sit here and talk to you guys about reading updates while we, while I stare at the snow, I guess. But um, I didn't manage to finish this this morning, but I'm definitely going to be finishing it today. So I'm excited to give you um, my final thoughts on For the Wolf and also check off one of the winter books that's on my winter reading challenge TBR and also start a new one. I'm so excited to start so many books right now, but I did get to page 406 and the thing i wanted to update on is just the romance i think i was saying before that i was not really feeling the romance but now i'm just like absolutely not feeling it i actually think that red the main protagonist is one of my least favorite characters and a lot of it has to do with like the way that the romance is structured because i just think it's really bad romance writing if i'm being honest um the main just like the plot and the religion and the darkness and the creepiness of the woods is like the main thing that i am loving this book for i could really care less about red and aemon who is the wolf and their relationship if i'm being honest just because i don't think it's very um doesn't have a lot of body to it do you know what i mean like it's just very tropey to me almost like insta love in my opinion and they really haven't known each other for very long but the good thing is that the book has really picked up at the end now. I was getting a little bit fed up with the middle because I was telling you guys that I was finding it very repetitive, but um, the ending of the book is actually, um, I'm really enjoying it and I'm really enjoying all of the darkness and the, there's just so much about like blood and like the blood and the forest and the trees and like coming together and like forests invading bodies which is really cool um we will see when i get to the end like what my final rating is because i honestly don't know yet because like i said i'm just really enjoying like the darkness and the spookiness of the woods um and the different trees and magic and stuff like that so the goal is to finish this today for sure um and then i did read a little bit more of a christmas carol since the last time i talked to you guys i got to page i think 14 in a christmas carol and i'm really really loving it like the quotes are just so beautiful hi i'm blue do i look blue i look blue so here it is here's the last update of the vlog i did manage to finish for the wolf thank goodness but actually i'm very happy with the ending like i was just editing the vlog and i was very grumbly about the middle half of this book which i still stand by but it really picked up and i really like the ending and i'm actually so excited to continue on with the series because i was kind of thinking that maybe i wouldn't just based off of the middle slog but like the ending really picked up i loved everything that happened a lot of it gave me princess mononoke vibes and i really really liked it like it was just so dark and spooky and it had some of my favorite things happening um and i really 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 love the ending actually so very happy with that i think my final rating for this is gonna sit at like almost four stars which is still very very good but i just don't know if i can give it the full stars because um it just felt like there was a lot of mushy gushy wobbliness in the middle if that makes sense so the next book that i'm going to be picking up is the enchanted sonata though by heather dixon Wallwork. so excited for this one look at how pretty um and the little tassel ah, so i think i'm going to start a new vlog for this one because this vlog has gotten very very long and lengthy I cannot wait to just keep checking off these beautiful wintry books from my literal list if you guys want to check out literal it's a completely free app um if i haven't already said that but there will be a link in the description box um, and if you also want to get on board and try to jump in on their 25 days of giveaway, then do it because it looks so, because it looks so fun. Um, so yes, thank you literal so much. I'm so, I have so much fun doing these like little challenges. I just want to keep making them. So, so excited to start this. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're doing well. Um, I'm freezing. Like, I think I am actually looking blue because it's very cold today. But I'm going to log off and I'm going to try to get warm and I will see you guys very, very soon. So I love you so much. Have a wonderful night.